Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Bethel. So today's video, as you can see by the title, I am redecorating my bedroom slash personal home office space. I have been planning this video for what seems like an eternity. So as you guys know, due to COVID and everything that has taken place this year, a lot of us have been working from home. So literally since the very beginning of the lockdown, I've been at home. And so very early on, I realized that I needed to create a little area in the house, my little sanctuary where I could kind of have my desk and have a little space that was for me. So the first thing I did was buy a desk and then I thought, you know what? I actually need a little bit more space. I love decorating. I love doing things around the house and you guys really really loved the last video that I did where I reorganized my kitchen if you have not already watched this video after you watch this one go and watch that I'll leave the link in the description box below so I basically started to make a plan of everything that I wanted to do in the bedroom all of my different ideas from Pinterest and Instagram I did a huge shopping haul so I've got a bunch of items that I am going to show you guys so I cannot wait for you guys to go through the process with me and see how I transform my bedroom space so if you have not already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you do not miss another video. So before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Live X Maintain. They are the epitome of personalized items, which is perfect for me because that's something that I really like. So you will have seen from the Portugal vlog that I had some personalized phone cases with my names and initials on it. But in line with in line with this video, they've also given me some items that I can use in my desk, such as a portable charger and also a stand up charger for my iPhone. I'll leave the link to all of the items in the description box. And if you guys want to check it out or purchase any items, they have kindly given me a discount code. So use the code Bethel for 15% off of all of your items. Go and check them out, link will be in the description. I have got a bunch of items in front of me that I'm going to take you guys through as a little bit of a haul, but before I do that, I will insert some footage of when I went to HomeSense to pick up a few of the items that I got. So check that out. We're just in the cab on our way to HomeSense. So I've never been to HomeSense before. I've always wanted to go, but HomeSense is essentially like the furniture store sister company to TK Maxx. So um, yeah, on our way there to hopefully get some bits and bobs for the bedroom and potentially other parts of the house. She's been talking about this place for time. <laughs> I keep pulling the AdSense. <laughs> She's like, do you want to go to AdSense? I'm like, what's AdSense? You thinking about money? No. <laughs> Too big? No, it's fine because if I'm sitting back and then if I put a pillow, but there's no price on this one. How much does it cost? Is it free? Huh, you wish. <laughs> oh, hold on. What did it say? <sighs> Too much, mate. How much? 200. Mm. The other one I saw was like 110. Think of this one. Okay. Pink. I don't know. It's coffee. Your short legs. <laughs> <laughs> this one's ninety. Ninety pounds. Mm. It's a good price. I just don't know if it like the colour. So this is it. I'm happy with the size, it's super comfortable and I'm so glad it doesn't have wheels as well because I wanted something that was just stable so yeah, finally found the chair. 
So you would have seen from the footage that I managed to find the perfect chair, which was exactly what I was looking for. The chair was £99 and it was on sale, which was a really, really good price. The desk that I got, I will insert a picture of it here, was actually a Malm dressing table from Ikea. So it was £75, which is mad cheap for a desk. So Ikea really came through with that. The next piece of furniture that I got was a set of chest of drawers. And this was the Malm uh, drawers from Ikea. Ikea again and it was £115. You guys will know Ikea's prices are really really affordable. For the most part until now most of my clothes have been hanging so I really wanted to get a chest of drawers just so that I could have some space to have things folded and also for some other things which I will show you once we get into decorating the room. Next I got a mirror. I'm not going to try and say the name of the mirror. I'll put the name of it here and the mirror was £12 and the mirror is huge so um that was a really 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 good price so that's it for sort of more of the bigger items of furniture so now into the smaller more decorative and organization pieces so the first thing that i got was this pink pillow with sort of these silver leaf designs on it this was from primark it came in a pack of two i think it was literally like 9.99 something super super cheap but i thought it went really really well with the chair and it's actually really firm so it's really nice and comfortable as well next for the chest of drawers i got these i think they're called scoop so they're a set of like five in drawer um sort of organizers so they expand and they kind of zip in the bottom you can put them into your drawers to kind of organize um any loungewear underwear etc socks so i bought a bunch of these from there and i think this was super cheap like maybe like four or three pounds but then i also got another type of in drawer organizers but these are sort of more harder baskets these were from primark so these were seven pounds i think i got three of these um so i have a mixture of sort of harder ones and then also the softer ones from ikea just so that when i'm organizing the room i can sort of figure out what i want to do with the space the good thing about stuff like this as well is if i don't use all of it for the bedroom i can always use it around the house in various other parts to organize things as well so it works out both ways i saw this picture i don't know if it was on instagram or pinterest somewhere of these floating shelves that someone had put in the corner of their bedroom and i thought this was an amazing idea so i bought a bunch of them these are sort of the individual um shelves that you stick to the walls so i got three of these fun fact Ikea was out of stock. I tried for weeks on end and I couldn't get them. Marv, being the genius that he is, found these on eBay. So that's also a great alternative. They're literally in perfect condition. I've wiped them down. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, so I saved a lot of money on this as well. So that's a good tip. If you're looking for furniture, check out eBay because eBay has a lot of stuff that is pretty brand new and you can get it at a really affordable price. So that's a nice little trick for you guys. Next, in the theme of aesthetics and having things that are aesthetically pleasing, I got this swing bin and it's got this really nice sort of basket feature um, on the side. I wanted something that still is, like I said, aesthetically pleasing but doesn't just look like a manky bin in the corner. So this was, I think, $7.99 from HomeSense. HomeSense, I was in love with. By the way, this was my first ever time going to HomeSense. I had always wanted to go. So the amount of stuff that I found in there was unbelievable. So I was really, really happy with this purchase. Um, in the theme of HomeSense, another thing that I picked up was candles. Now I am a lover of scents, perfumes, candles. So I was super excited with what I found. I actually still have these wrapped up. So this one is my absolute favorite. So this one is vanilla. Now, I just, I just love the scent. I just love the smell of vanilla. This just, it's just cozy, it's warm, it's amazing. So I think this was, this was $6.99. And then the second one that I got was more of a fruity smell. So this one was peony. This just kind of, I'm really bad at describing scents, but just kind of smells like, fruity fresh flowers it's clean it's not too like sweet where it makes you feel sick but this was 5.99 but their candle section honestly was huge they had loads and loads of options i also wanted to make mention something that isn't necessarily new i've had it for a while but aldi actually have amazing candles and they're very 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 cheap so if you are on the hunt for some cheap candles as an alternative 
check out Audi because they are absolutely amazing. So I've had this one for a while. This is my favorite. This is number 22, Sweet Almond and Macaroon. And this, oh, it just, it smells heavenly. So like I said, I love personalized items. So I got this marble coaster from Oliver and Bonus and it has got a marble effect and it's got a B in gold. I think this is originally like 10 pounds and I got it on sale for I think about six or something like that. Um, again, I'll leave the links for everything in the description bar, but I thought this would look really nice on my desk and will avoid me having to sort of like, if I have any mugs or anything like that, just because the top of my desk is glass. So this will kind of help with that. And it's also just pretty. In line with that marble theme, I also got this little marble tray. Now, some things that I picked up, I picked up just because it was nice and I don't actually know what I'm going to do with it. So I will see. If I don't use this in the bedroom, I'll probably use this in the bathroom. But again, I just thought it would be nice. It's either like a little trinket to put things on or maybe just to put like some hand creams or the things that I reach for on like a daily basis on the top of my desk. So we'll see if I use it or if I don't. But again, this was from Amazon and I think this was like 10 pounds. This little gadget, I've had this for a while to be fair but I absolutely love it. It's like a stand for your phone or your um, iPad. So literally you could put your phone on it either this way or have it upwards. I've used this in the kitchen when I'm cooking something, I can sort of rest my phone on it and watch something, but I found it very, very, very handy. So this little device, I would highly, highly, highly recommend. And it's really sturdy as well. Like it's not flimsy where you put your phone in it and it's just gonna fall straight down. I did some more shopping at Ikea and I bought this beautiful vase. Now I saw something really similar to, um, to this in Zara and it was much more expensive. This was literally seven pounds. So it was super, super cheap. Beautiful cream color, just looks really sleek. Um, now, in terms of what I'm going to put into this, I'm not 100% sure if I'm happy with what I got, but I'll show you guys anyways. So I bought these, faux flowers now i'm a fan of faux flowers just because i think they're just easy you buy them once they stay there but i just i don't know about these i like them i don't know if i love them and i feel like they were a little bit pricey so these were i think seven pounds as well which is the same price as the vase um so we'll see i don't know if i'm gonna use it i don't know if i'm gonna take it back but i thought i would show you guys anyway seeing as i picked it up next i got these little pouches from Primark. These were, I think these were £1.50 and they're just like lavender pouches that you can put on the inside of your chest of drawers. And it just makes your clothes and everything in there smell really nice. Let me see if I can open one up. I can probably smell it from here. Okay, that, wow, that's very strong. So yeah, it smells like lavender. So I thought I would get a bunch of these and just put one in each drawer just so that everything can smell nice. Again, like I said, I'm really big on scents. I like my room smelling fresh, clean, candles, perfume. So I've never used these before. I've heard good things about them. So yeah, they were super cheap. So I thought I would pick them up. So I've got two of these, one pound fifty each. Now, one of the things that really annoys me about my home and most homes in the UK is that we struggle with storage space. So I really wanted to maximize the space that I've got behind my door to either hang bags or coats or blazers. So I picked up this little door rack thing. Now, previously I had some that I bought from Primark that were just this individual hook. So it was like a pack of three and you could just like slot them. The thing I didn't like about that is that things ended up just sliding across. So I thought I would get this instead. This feels really, really, really sturdy. But yeah, I thought I would use this behind my door to hang sort of like crossbody bags, jackets or anything like that. So hopefully this works out really good. Now, this is one of those items that I didn't need, but I got because I liked it. So I really like books. I like reading. And so I know I want a space in this sort of bedroom area where I have some of my sort of like top books that I'm either currently reading or books that I want to read. So I saw these little, these little men and they're like little book, book holders. I don't know what you call these, book holders, book stand holders. So you basically put the books in between and it's like the little men hold them up. But I just thought it was such a cute idea. Again, aesthetically pleasing. Um, previously I'd seen one where it's just like a block um, but I just thought these would look really cute, something different again. So um, yeah, I picked these up. I think these were pretty pricey. I think these were like 20 something pounds, which 
for what they are is quite pricey but they are really really sturdy um so yeah i'm excited to see how these will look in the room i picked up this acrylic pencil pot holder from amazon just for my pens highlighters things like that a lot of the stuff that i've got is either marble or colored etc so i didn't want too much stuff on my desk area that was colored so i thought this would be nice and clean um i also picked up some pastel highlighters which i'm really loving i've been using these for a while they're really really great for um your bible for those of you who are bible readers just because they don't um stay in the page and kind of bleed all the way through um and they're also just really pretty colors i've got a few others as well and then i also just picked up a bunch of other pens as well aesthetically pleasing they all look the same so yeah that's it for the stationery now this next item i am so chuffed with so stack has reached out to me about their new collection of jewelry boxes um, and i was so happy when they reached out and gifted me with this so this is their classic three drawer set um, so it has the top part that kind of lifts open with various different compartments and then basically each box kind of lifts up so on the next level you've got individual sort of like boxes that you can put earrings in and then right at the bottom it's sort of a bigger one with just three compartments at the moment my jewelry is in the office in like a pull-out drawer which is just really inconvenient because whenever i want to put my jewelry on i have to go from the bedroom to the office to grab it um but i also don't have a lot of jewelry so i like the idea of just having everything in one place really organized so i cannot wait to put this in the room um so again i will leave the link for this in the description box as well um they have kindly given me a discount code so i will put that on the screen if you guys want to check it out so yeah this is the pebble gray color um from their new collection so again a big big thank you to stackers for gifting this to me speaking of gifting another thing that was kindly gifted to me by another brand called curate london was these organizers now i actually have one of these already and i absolutely love it so this is their travel case um really sleek really compact so it's got two sections the first one is sort of like a bigger section um, and then the second one is a little bit more of a smaller one, but I just love how it looks. It's really big, nice and compact. So I've got a second one, which I will be using to organize various different things inside the drawers. I also have something else which I'm really excited about. So these are their makeup brush holders. Um, so it sort of opens up and then it's got a bag of sort of beaded pearls that you can put inside that your brushes can sort of stick in or even if i didn't want to use it i could just put them in by themselves but i like the idea that this has a cover so that my brushes are not getting dusty when they're just being left open and again it's just it's nice and aesthetically pleasing so again i will put all of the links in the description please go and check out their stuff so yeah big thank you to create london for sending me these as well and last but not least i picked up these um little insert drawers from ikea um these were actually advertised to go with um or sort of like to be accessorized with the desk that i got but these are just some nice little inserts it's got like a little ridge so i guess when you put things in there it doesn't sort of roll around so i thought this would be great for either storing makeup or just anything random that i'm going to put in my desk just so that it's got an actual place to sit so that is basically it for all of the items that I've got. So I'm going to take you next door into the bedroom so that you can see what it looks like and we will start with the decorating. I'm excited, so let's go. Okay, so this is what we're working with. So these are the chest of drawers. Me and Marv built these, I think, I think these have been here for like probably three weeks now. Um, and then we've got a window behind which I've blocked up for now. And then just basically all of this empty space. Behind my door is an absolute mess. I've got all of my jackets, scarves, bags, etc. These are the hooks that I was talking about and they just, they slide. I don't like them. These are the ones from Primark. So eventually I will take all of this down and put the new ones up. So the first thing I want to attack is this drawer before I move the desk here and the shelves are going to be built in that, in that corner. So I've already put my clothes into the majority of these. However, this drawer, ooh, 
this drawer is a mess. So obviously because I knew I was doing this video, I've just dumped everything in here. Some of this is PR, some of this is stuff that like I've bought. Some of these are just extras of things that I always just have in and around the house. So I need to clean through this drawer, but I kind of wanted this drawer to be like a backup, skincare, products, um, just random bits and pieces that I need. I also have a bunch of PR, which actually I will show you now. So those of you who've been following me for a while will know that I absolutely love skincare. Um, so this is a new brand that I actually didn't hear of before they reached out to me. So I hope I say their name right. Elevation, 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 I don't know. Uh, they sent me a bunch of goodies. We've got some face serums, some creams. This is another cream with SPF. I just love how it looks. I'm a sucker for packaging and it's got like a little applicator as well. I think this is what I'm most excited for. It's a 3D face sculpting device. So I've seen a couple of people use this um or something like this rather where it's I don't know if it's made out of like a marble or a stone or a crystal or something like that but you use it to kind of almost like face gym if any of you guys have heard of that um but this one is like an electric one so you charge it and I guess it vibrates I guess it's just supposed to like help circulation and help sort of like tighten your skin so definitely can't wait to try that out and then we've got a 24 karat gold magnetic mask or magnetophore mask um, and then some other serums so yeah cannot wait to try out all this stuff um, and then this next packaging oh my god I am in pixie heaven so I am going to be doing a big giveaway of a bunch of skincare items over on my Instagram so if you are not already following me on Instagram go and follow me because after this video is up um, I will be doing a big giveaway so I've got some hydrating milky lotion glow tonic which is my absolute fave um, we've got some eye patches literally they were so kind they sent so much stuff um, so I need to go through all of this stuff split what I am going to keep the stuff that's going to be for giveaways I've got some stuff in this drawer that I'm going to be giving away as well so I basically I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and organize all of this stuff cleared out this entire drawer I know it still looks like a mess and it looks like a lot of products but we're gonna organize it so in here I've got a bunch of giveaway items and then here is anything that just needs to go to other parts of the house mainly the bathroom so I've got like hair care stuff razors um, I bought like a bunch of new brushes and things like that so I will organize all of that later so for these drawers I'm going to use the Primark organizers um, that I told you guys about. So I'm gonna use these baskets for inside this drawer. Um, and I feel like these would slot in quite nicely. And then for um, this bag from Create, I've got loads of like little tiny items. So these are just some bits and bobs that I took from Champlain's where we went there for our anniversary. Um, I've got a bunch of like sample size things for when I travel um, that literally don't need to take up space uh, in the bathroom some bits from Lancome etc um, so I was thinking I would put all of my travel size things in here just so that when I'm traveling all I need to do is literally just pick this up and just choose what I need to take so yeah let's continue organizing So we are all organized. So it might still look like a mess to you, but it makes sense to me. So I decided to take all of my sheet masks out of the actual boxes. I'm such a big fan um, of sheet masks. I love them. They're really easy to do. Um, Marv does them as well, so they're really good. So in this box is 
a mixture of PR, things that I've bought, like this, I absolutely love. So things that I know I use often, I have doubles of. So like my body shop, face wash and stuff, if they're on sale, I'll always pick up an extra. So these are all just like a mixture of doubles and stuff. Um, a lot of these items I've actually run out of. So I probably need to double check in my bathroom and restock from here. Um, and then for these two bags the first one i've got in here all of my sort of like nail kit stuff so since lockdown i've been doing my own nails um so here i've got just some acetone some glue everything that i basically need and then at the back i've got a few um of my press on nails i actually need to order some more so that's in there and then in the back here i have got my face mask sheets that I use for my Foreo machine. Um, so these are just extras um, for when I go through those. So they're in the back. And then I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to get this out now that I've put this here. But in here, uh, I basically have all of my miniatures. So this is just anything small, whenever I'm traveling or anything like that, I can just pick this up and then just decide exactly what i need to take and then at the very back i literally just have miscellaneous things so i always just have extra um wet ones listen at the beginning of lockdown these things were nowhere to be found but yeah i always stock up with these at home and then i have like a little travel razor um and then just my electric toothbrush case and just some extra um what do you call these things cotton pads um so yeah that is basically it for this drawer um moving on to the next drawer this is where i'm going to keep all of sort of my underwear and things like that these are the socks that i like to use for when i'm wearing trainers and then i've just got sort of like normal ones um so i was thinking of using these boxes and basically just folding them in twos into sort of balls but these look quite small so i think i'm going to use the ikea ones um because they are a lot more deeper so i'm going to open those out and organize this um, before I sort this drawer out. Once I opened up all of these boxes, I actually realized they have this kind of like medium size, which I think makes a lot more sense. The other size is this, which is actually quite small. I don't know if you guys can tell. So, um, yeah, this is the one I opted to go for. I decided to leave these like this just for now until I wear them. I have a whole basket of laundry that I need to go through. So I'm gonna have a second one, one of these, sorry, that I'm gonna use for my white socks. And then this will go in nice and smooth. And then I spoke about these silk PJs on my Instagram page. I picked up a bunch from Primark in just sort of like different prints. These are all sort of like cami tops um, with shorts and they're just really cute. Um, so again, these are the bigger containers and I'm going to use these to organize all of my sleepwear, PJs, etc, etc in this top drawer. I won't bore you with all of that nonsense, so I will get on and organize that now. Hey guys, so, ooh, lighting. Okay, excuse me while I just enjoy myself. Anyways, so my desk has been in the living room all of this time. That's where I've kind of been situated. So I'm going to grab Marv, I'm going to bring the desk over here. The drawer of the desk is an absolute state, so we're gonna arrange that. Um, I'm gonna bring the chair over, and then we can get to actually decorating. <laughs> <laughs> to, me, to, me, to me, to you. To me, to you, to me. So this is what the current setup is looking like. So I've got the desk in here. Um, this top is glass. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a glass layer on top, which is amazing because it's so easy to just wipe down and clean. Um, and then this is the chair. It's so comfortable. Um, I'm super, super happy with it. So yeah, this is kind of what this section is looking like. Obviously still really, really bare, um, but I want to get to organizing first before we start doing all the fun stuff. So I'm going to show you what this drawer looks like. Don't judge me. It's it's a mess. Like that should like there's perfume bottles, a watch, tech stuff, makeup, like it's just all over the place. Um and this is I haven't opened this up properly, so I'm going to clear up this drawer first completely and then again we'll start organizing it. I've cleared everything out of the drawer. The great thing about this is it comes with this, I don't know what you call it, it's kind of like a felt material um, and then obviously just the normal drawer underneath that. So this is all completely clear. 
here is a bunch of makeup, skincare, random bits and pieces. Here is just clearly a bunch of hairbands, pens, etc. And then here is just miscellaneous things. So I've got like some tech items, um, perfume, my iPad, etc. Um, and then I've got some more makeup. I picked up some new bits as well, as well. I don't know what I was talking about. Um, picked up some new pieces. So this is an eyebrow pencil from NYX in the color espresso and then this is my favorite foundation everyone always asks me actually to do makeup related content i don't know if i would but hey um this is my favorite foundation laura mercier um in the color praline um so in terms of how i want to organize these drawers um i have these acrylic containers which is i don't know how to explain it this is like you know those acrylic um containers that kind of stack up in like a set of five or six that's where my makeup used to be in the bathroom and it just wasn't practical so i figured rather than throwing the whole thing away i would use these and just kind of slot them in so that i can have the different areas um obviously they're a little bit dirty so i've got some method cleaning spray so i'm literally going to clean all of these now and then start organizing i'm pretty sure i'm going to be getting rid of some stuff um some things like this will be going in the giveaway pile so again i just kind of need to go through everything and organize So we are done. Everything is now nicely organized and put away. So I've got my foundations, concealers. This this is sort of like my day-to-day, -day, like an everyday look. Then I've got just additional like bronzers, highlighters, a bunch of different powders, um, mascara, eyebrows, um, setting sprays. These are sort of like my everyday lip glosses. I'm a lip gloss girl and then I've got some lip balms. Um, and then over on this side, I kind of want to leave a little bit of space just for some other things that I'm going to bring in here from the office next door. So this pouch, I'm kind of just gonna use this for tech things, um, just various cables and things like that. Um, this is just a cute little pouch that I got from Primark for a pound and usually when I am taking another bag, I will just take like some wet wipes, an eyebrow pencil, lip gloss, etc. put it in here and then put it in my bag. So I always kind of need this handy. Um, and then just random tech stuff. Like I really need to change the screen, screen um, protector on my phone. So that's the spare one there. Perfume, I'm not going to um, keep here. I'm gonna have it on display, but we're not doing that yet. So for now, I'm just gonna keep it in here. But yeah, I'm really happy with everything looks i got rid of so much stuff stuff that was expired stuff that i just don't like stuff i know i will never use etc so i'm glad that i've kind of condensed it down so i can actually see exactly what i've got and exactly what i use i still have some things in here that i need to try like this primer here and this primer here from elf are brand new um i just thought i would try them out and then right at the back here i've just got a beauty blender the rest of mine are dirty they need washing at the moment um but yeah i'm happy with how it looks and i feel like i've still got a decent amount of space to still put other stuff in so one job down another thousand to go <laughs> I feel like for the most part, the organizing kind of stuff is done. The only thing actually I need to organize is my jewelry. So I need to put that into the new stackers case. And then I need Marv's help to put the shelves here. So I'm gonna have the three floating shelves. One of them I know I'm gonna use for my perfumes. The other two, I don't know, I'm just gonna figure it out once I get to decorating. So I'm about to organize this new jewelry box with all of my stuff. So I brought everything over from the other room. Um, let me actually show you everything properly. So I'll give you a better look at this jewelry box. So this is the case. So the top layer has like a mixture of different compartments, longer bits for like necklaces or bracelets, a little section for some rings. And then the bottom part or the middle section rather is where you can put all of the like earrings. I guess you could still put like necklaces or little bracelets in there as well. And then finally the bottom part is sort of the big sections. So I've got all of my jewelry 
from next door. This little trinket is kind of what I use to keep my day-to-day -day bits. Actually, I'll show you, I'm a real lover of pearls. Um, and so I was sent this by a young lady. It's a black home brand. They're called Saint Kojo. Um, but yeah, really beautiful, like dainty pieces. So she sent me these hoop earrings. Um, there's this gorgeous necklace as well. Um, and there are another pair of earrings in here as well, yes. And then these pair, which is really, really pretty. I think I've got my wedding earrings here as well. Yeah, these are my wedding earrings. And I actually wear these quite often, just because I think they're really beautiful. So yeah, I am going to definitely be getting rid of a lot of stuff, because there's a lot of stuff here that I don't wear. I tend to just go for the same items over and over again. So yeah, let's get organising. finished organizing everything I've literally only kept the stuff that I know I actually wear on a day-to-day -day basis this section is really precious to me because this is the jewelry that I wore for my wedding this is like the traditional area train jewelry and then I've just got like two big earrings I never really wear big earrings really just a chunky necklace and then these are all of my like day-to-day -day earrings um, and then just like a few other necklaces and bits and pieces so yeah this will sit very nicely on my chest of drawers so very 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 happy about this and again I'll leave the link um, for this in the description if this is something that you guys want to check out and the good thing about this is if I feel like I want more space I can always buy additional layers to literally stack <laughs> as the name says stackers so the next challenge is to get this up here so I'm just waiting for Marv um, and he is going to help me put these walls up these walls these shelves rather um, the thing is they're supposed to actually be drilled into the wall um, but I saw a YouTube video and someone managed to put these up just with command strips now they're not actually that heavy they're actually very light so I'm hoping that this won't be an issue and I'm not going to put anything on these that are massively heavy either so wish us luck fingers crossed it will be smooth and simple. Yeah. Is that full stable? Well done to Marv, Mr. Team, Handyman. Team effort. <laughs> These are very sturdy, especially considering that there's no nails. So like I said earlier in the haul, it is a great solution if you do not want to drill in nails into your walls or even if you can't. I think this could be even fit a vase. That's how strong it is. Yeah, that's true. So we're going to mess around with the decor later, but at least you can see like the shells are not budging. So command strips for the win. We did it. So we have 
finally finished with all of the organizing, all of the shelves, etc. So I've literally just added in an extension cord cable. So I've stuck this onto the actual desk just so that it would be a little bit more easier. And then I've literally like wired it round the back um, of here. But yeah, that's it. Now time to do the fun stuff, which is to decorate. I could not be happier with how this turned out. The only thing I'm gutted about is in this section right here was supposed to be the big mirror that I bought from Ikea, but we just don't have the tools that we need now to put it up. So as soon as I get that, I will definitely be putting that up here and that should make the space look even more bigger and even nicer. But just to kind of give you guys a quick tour. So I've kind of cleaned up this area um, minimize the amount of stuff that I've got on it, things that I just kind of wear on a day to day basis, leather jackets, blazers, a winter coat. Um, I've put my trench coats for now um, away just sort of in a, um, what do you call these things, a suit cover. And then cross bodies are like my favourite type of bag, so I've just got two cross bodies there. And then here's my little workstation. And then these are, this is the stand that I was telling you guys about that you can use for either your iPad or your phone. And this is actually a phone charger. I just haven't charged it up yet. And then I've got this cute little section here. This little candle that I've had for a while from Burberry and I just haven't opened it yet. So I don't think I'm going to burn that. I'm just going to leave that for aesthetics. But yeah, honestly, I'm just, I'm just so happy. You know when you have a vision and then it actually comes to life. I'll give you guys a bit of a wide view so that you guys can see. But yeah, that with like a big mirror here, it's gonna look amazing once it's finally done. But I'm so happy, so, so, so happy with how it turned out. Ooh, when I tell you I am exhausted, this actually looks like a really cute background. Who knows, this might just be 
a background for one of my upcoming YouTube videos. We shall see. But yeah, please let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you'd like more of this kind of content of home kind of stuff. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram as well because I will be updating more things that I do sort of around the house, hacks, tricks, things that I'm doing with decor and things like that. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye.